Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, man. I got to ask my homeboy, Mr. Boxing, man. I got to ask you a question, bruh. And you need to answer this question, man. What the hell was the Minnesota Timberwolves thinking about when they took Ricky Rubio over Stephen Curry? How could they have let Stephen Curry slip through their hands? Now, I know the scouting report was like, well, you know, he's not that big. And, you know, could his style of play translate into the NBA game? And it was a question of whether he was a point guard or was he a two guard? You know, the typical shit, but still. I just don't understand that. When I saw Stephen Curry at Davidson and I see him playing, I say, this dude can shoot. I was like, I was impressed watching him at Davidson. And it was funny when he had entered the draft and the Warriors had got the number seven pick. Now, you know, I kept telling everybody, I said, uh, I say, man, if Stephen Curry could fall the number seven to the Warriors, I say, if Stephen Curry, and I told my stepdad, I told my brother, I said, Stephen Curry is available at number seven. I say the Warriors have to take him. My stepdad, he was like, well, he all right. He said, I don't know if he going to be able to make it in the NBA, you know. And it was funny, man. I got home from work. You know, I got home from work, man, and um, made sure I watched the draft. And it was funny, man. We all knew that the Clippers go take Blake Griffin. Okay. Then the other guys get drafted, you know. The other guys, you, you know, so then I'm thinking to myself, uh, okay. I'm thinking to myself, okay, the Minnesota Timberwolves, I was scared that the Timberwolves was going to take, you know, Stephen Curry. You know, so I was like, I wasn't worried about the Knicks. I was just worried about the Timberwolves. I say, man, please don't let the Timberwolves take Stephen Curry. So the Timberwolves took, you know, they took Ricky Rubio. So then so on and so on. Tyreek Evans, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I say number seven. And I was like, I, I mean, I'm serious. I literally prayed that the Warriors get Stephen Curry. And, you know, my brother, Dan, he, I got him to see the light. So he started, he got on the bandwagon. My stepdad still wasn't so. So when they said with the number seven pick, the Golden State Warriors select Stephen Curry. I was like, hell yeah. And I said to myself, I said, if they draft carefully around this dude and they build a team around this dude, I say they're going to win championships. Then what did they do? Drafted Clay Thompson, drafted Harrison Barnes, traded for Andrew Bogut, uh, you know, got Draymond Green. Look what's going on now. And I'm going to tell you right now, Stephen Curry right now, he's a superstar. And I'm going to tell you right now, like I said, this ain't got nothing to do with him playing for my, my childhood team. But I'm telling you right now, from what I've seen so far, Stephen Curry is on his way to being one of the best that ever did it. And that's just real talk. Right now, man, I'm, I'm, he's he might be the best shooter i ever seen in my life. If you think I'm lying, you watch footage of that game of the Miami Heat. Just put You can put together, I'm telling you right now, if you a videographer, I mean, boxing ego, and that's funny, boxing ego. I, I might have to get at boxing ego. I'm telling you right now, you can make an hour-long video of Stephen Curry highlights. And see, here's the thing. Stephen Curry, not just a shooter. The dude can create his own shots. He could create for himself. He could create for his team. He could get people involved as well as score. The dude is an all-around player. He got a very underrated, like, inside game. He could take you off the dribble and take it to the basket. I mean, the dude could do pretty much anything, man. He he just not a shooter. Now, you know, I heard people like hating on him, you know, like Mike and Mike and all them dudes. They didn't think he was going to be that good and stuff. But, boy, stay wrong now because I'm telling you right now, Stephen Curry is headed to the Hall of Fame. And, yeah, he headed to the Hall of Fame if he could keep up this pace, which I don't see why not. You know, the dude didn't prove the toughest nails, so – I mean, the sky's the limit for Stephen Curry. He's the best player on the planet. No disrespect to LeBron James. LeBron James at once, he was the best player on the planet. But now that title belongs to Stephen Curry. 
And that's just straight up, man. Do you, I mean, tell me I'm lying. Who right now is better than Stephen Curry in the NBA right now? I mean, this dude is just an all-around player, man. This this dude, I'm telling you, is one of the most skillful players I've ever seen. And I'm going to tell you something. It's funny. He doing this being only six foot three. If he was six foot six, six foot seven, and played like that, I'm telling you right now, man. I'm they might would change some of the they would, might would change NBA rules because of this dude, man. I'm serious. If this dude, I, I'm, I'm telling you, man. If this dude was six foot six foot six, six foot seven, man, I, I, I'm man. The league wouldn't even be. I mean, it, it's damn near not fair now. So I'm just telling you, man, Stephen, Stephen Curry, man, is the goods, man. And I dare anybody to tell me different, man. I'm out.